always encourage my students to ask questions and never ever stop thinking. A scientific result, this invention was reached by the very same method. In 1995, I had the chance to meet Vladimir Vigorevich Arnold, who I think uh, was uh, one of the most influential scientific minds of the 20th century. He presented me with a question whether a three-dimensional homogeneous object could exist with less than four static equilibrium points. And the general belief was that such an object cannot exist. Gradually I realized this question is so beautiful that it is worth any amount of effort. For 10 years I was trying to solve it on my own and I got to understand many aspects of the problem. I can do undisturbed thinking if uh, nobody is likely to talk to me. The discovery itself is, is, uh, can be exciting, but uh, it is much more exciting to, to think about something for an extended period of time. At some point, I got so desperate that while on holidays with my wife, I proposed to collect 2,000 pebbles on the shore and uh, to classify them based on the number and type of their equilibrium points, hoping to find uh, one pebble which would have the property of having one stable and one unstable point only. But we didn't find it. When Peter joined in, things became extremely fast. We had the intuition, we kind of knew what we wanted to find, but we didn't really have the mathematical background. My mathematical education is quite weak. And Gabor is also an engineer and not a mathematician. I think we just uh, complemented each other in a very good way. He is the type of person who has ideas all the time. He's coining new ideas every 10 minutes. It was a fascinating three-dimensional puzzle. Finally, we managed to find this shape. The gumbert behaves exactly like a roly-poly, but it doesn't have an added weight inside. It always returns to the stable point. We needed a very precise technology to realize this object because it's very sensitive to imperfections. People from the Western world always ask first what this is good for, but Eastern people appreciate the beauty itself and they want to understand the philosophy rather than the purpose of a shape like this. It's a source of further questions for me. In science, questions are much more valuable than the answers.